hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be talking about what are the different ways to finance your studies while preparing to study in Germany so as you all know um, money is it's one of the big determinants of when you have to study in, in a foreign country so it doesn't matter if it's Germany or um, Canada or the US as long as you're an African student money is one big determining factor you know that can actually make or even kill your dreams of studying so for those of you who do not know me my name is Chi Chi I am a youtuber uh, living in Berlin Germany and I'm just sharing my life experience here in Germany as well as giving you educative content on your study journey to Germany so again <laughs> we will be talking about um, financing your studies what are the best ways what I have done so um, let me begin from myself so when I started planning to study in Germany I was of course living in Dubai for a couple of years and while I was here I was able to uh, do, make a bit of savings so I think the first means of financing your studies would either be will be your savings so I mean studying is not something you just wake up in money pick up your bags and you know you're already you know the next day you're already in the country no I think it's it's a process you know it's a process it's not it's not something that happens almost immediately you have to work towards it you have to plan towards it and part of the planning process is where finances comes into play so in my case I had wanted to study since 2000 and um, 17 and I finally um, gained admission and studied in 2019 so it took me two years guys two years of planning two years of saving two years of working towards um, my moving to Germany so that would be like our first tip it would be your savings um, it would be you know maybe you're working or you you've been earning money or you've been saving towards you know this you know this plan you've had so of course that would be the number one tip so your saving would be one big tip that would be you know that would be helpful for you to study in Germany and secondly the other tip is your parent income so if your parents are working if your parents you know um, they're business people they can also finance your study because in my case my parents my parents were um, my parents are retired um, your parents income can be also one way you could finance your trip to um, study abroad um, in I don't know how it is in Canada or in in the US when you have to study but in Germany it's basically you just you know keeping some amount of money in a blocked account I don't it's not really required where you got the money from no one cares no one is asking the German government is not asking where you get the money from they just want to see that that money is blocked and believe me that money is blocked for a very long time you have no access to it actually you have access to it as soon as you land into Germany and you've registered your apartment and then this bank where you put in your money would just start reimbursing you every month um, a specific amount and um, the plan is to use this money every month for your rents for your upkeep should in case you get to this to Germany and you don't find a job at least you have something to fall back on so that's kind of like the plan and so um, yeah so back to being to your parents um, they could just you know help you and in one way it doesn't also have to be your parents money maybe it's your family money maybe it's your um, uncle or your auntie's money you know as long as you can just put it there so I have a lot of friends who have you know borrowed money from you know from uncles aunties you know family contribution and all they they did when they um, get to Germany was get the money each month back and send it back to whosoever they got it from but they also you know had to take up jobs you know to finance themselves you know at the end of the day because that money is meant to you know see you through you know your daily um, living expenses while you're in Germany but for those who are very lucky they come into Germany they find work immediately and they start you know any money to for their upkeep and they just send back the money um, they've borrowed or they have you know utilized you know 
in their blocked account so that's another good tip another one we'll be looking at is um, working part-time so like I said that's also another way of financing your studies while you're working part-time but of course this is only possible when you're already in Germany I mean this is not possible before and um, yeah working part-time is good because it helps you get some uh, enough money to at least pay your rent um, have some food on your table pay your insurance have you know a little bit of outstanding left for you know um, daily life um, you know enjoyment <laughs> you know what I mean and so um, another tip that could be helpful in terms of financing your studies before you come to Germany would be scholarships so scholarships are a lifesaver I know a lot of people who came to Germany through scholarships and there are so many of them on the DAAD website where you actually find universities to um, to apply for your studies you will always find a lot of scholarships on DAAD um, and if you're qualified and you fit into you know the, the requirement of course you should go ahead and apply for them they're very helpful they will give you some money I think there are some scholarships that even um, helps you that gives you about a, a 1,000 euros every month there are also scholarship for master's level there's scholarship for a PhD level there's scholarships for um, um, student coming from um, third world countries. That's also a very good scholarship to look out for. Fortunately for me, I'm not very scholarship kind of person. I can't be bothered to apply for this. I feel like this this scholarship thing is um, a, a lot of people go for it, and I I don't know if a lot of people get it because I don't know. I I don't. I'm not a believer in free things. But guys, this is also one means you could you know um, jump on on this opportunity and um, yeah. And get some money <laughs> to finance your studies and so um, there are also different kind of scholarships as um, as I discovered we have when you get to Germany we also have something called the Deutschland Stupinden and the Deutschland Stupinden is I think it's a private and public uh, partnership where um, so it's more funded by the government and it's also funded by other private uh, organizations so um, it's not a lot of money you just get 300 every month for your basic uh, upkeep that's while you're already in Germany and you can you know use this money for you know your, your daily expenses or you know to pay your rent if you live in a student accommodation the rents are usually lesser um, so what else? So there are also different other kinds of uh, scholarship like the Heinrich Bohr Foundation Scholarship. There is the Max Planck Society Research. There is a scholarship for African students in diaspora. Um, like I uh, touched on, there's also scholarship for a student from third world countries. So guys, these are the tips um, that I was able to look up. And these are, you know, from my own experience, this is how I, you know, saved enough to come to Germany through work, uh, through my personal savings. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you, um, if you, if you have any other opinion or any other um, way people could finance their studies, oh, actually there's something that came to my mind. So here in Nigeria, a lot of people, um, who do not have enough parental uh, who, whose parents do not have enough income what they do is they can also lend money from this uh, loan institution I think I heard of a very good one it's called rent money they can loan you money as long as you can um, qualify that you need it for study purposes they can loan you some money and you can pay back um, um, rent money is a very good one. I have no idea of any other one, but be careful because these loan companies they are like a sh they are like sharks. They can come for you when you least expect it, and you know it's always very important to to not just tell them that as soon as you get to Germany you're going to pay them the money immediately. You should always give them you know a, a bit more time. So if you if you're resuming your study in October, you can say well either you're resuming September October you can say well I can start paying you from January next year at least that gives you two three months to settle down in Germany to find a job 
um, to assimilate a bit into the system and to be able to find work and start any money to send back or to pay back your loan so guys I hope this video was very helpful um, give it th give it a thumbs up um, you like and subscribe to my channel and yeah I look forward to the next video bye